Guys, so I got my second VHDL implementation to show you today. So as you can see, if I toggle the switches, I can display all the numbers from 1 to 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So this is done through a function which I've implemented. So I'll show you a bit of the code that I've done. So you have the deco decoding function. And in VHDL, your function is specified as a process, so it's not a function, it's a process. And here I'm talk I'm basing this off the input of, our of the switches. So this is where your inputs go, you can have one or multiple inputs as you would in C or C++ or Java. You have to have your begin statement, and then you write the function. So in this case, what I'm doing is this bar, bar graph is active uh, low so when I pull high on each one of these addresses I can get it to turn off or to turn on so I'm using a switch statement and in VHDL it's called the uh, the case statement which is written as follows so you have case of your switches and here you go seven down to zero is and here you you're gonna implement what you want to do exactly case by case so what I've done is you have when so this is when all of your switches are off which is the current position as you can see so what do I do is uh, I set all my segments to segments to to low and I set the dot point this is I'll explain it in just a second. So I set this to zero. So what this does is the segments uh, input basically addresses each one of these bar graphs. So on the eight you have bottom, top, top left, top right, uh, bottom left, bottom right, and the middle, as well as you have the DP, which is uh, which is used to address the dot at the end of the eight. And you can continue like this. So you can write on a when so this is obviously when this switch right here is pressed you would write so what you want to do is when this switch is pressed you want to get a one so you have to turn off one two three four five plus the dot and these addresses are all specific so I had to go one by one and figure out which one addresses which bar on the display. So in this case, to get the one, I had to write it's four ones, two, three, four, and your DP is this turns off the dot at the end of the one. So as you can see, we're turning it off one two three four five bars plus the dot so one two three four five plus the dot and you can keep going like this you can make any combination essentially with the switches you can make it so that you display uh, a three or an eight when two of these are toggled or like one of these are toggled by writing each one of the case statements below and obviously this can be implemented in terms of a timer which you can use to count from 1 to 9 to like to any number as long as it fits on the display and so far as you can see I'm only using one a one digit but I'm going to multiplex this in a later video and use all four and which I'll keep you updated so thank you again for watching and I hope you've learned how to use the functions as well as the case statement thank you bye